Okay, so now we finally get to some examples. Okay, so here's an example. The question uh, that's not written down here is simply to solve the triangle. That means all of the unknown values must be found. And uh, to do that, we, are, we can see that we don't have 90 degree triangles, uh, or angles, I mean. So that means we can't use sine, cos, and tan. Those ratios is unhelpful at this stage because I can only use them in 90 degree triangles. So I'm going to use my special functions uh, or my special... Uh, rules the sine rule which is sine a over a is equal to sine b over b come on that's easy to remember isn't it and b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared that just looks like the normal uh, what is it uh, Pythagoras with this little uh, modification here at the back a c cos B. Okay, so I also don't think that is too difficult to remember. And then uh, in the previous video, we looked at some uh, summary of what will I need to use the sine rule if I want an angle. Okay, and basically it came down to it that if I need an opposite pair. Okay, I can use the sine function if I have an opposite pair. If I do have an opposite pair then obviously I need f to calculate an angle I'll need a side to calculate a side I'll need the opposite angle okay and again these must be opposite sides opposite angles okay as you can see here a and its opposite side B and its opposite side for the cos rule to calculate the angle there's the angle if I want that I need the rest of these parameters which means I need three sides and if I want to calculate the side, I need two sides and their inclusive angle. Two sides and their inclusive angle. As you can see, if I have side length A and C, then I need angle B, which means that um, if here's side A, there's side A and side B, so I'd need, sorry, side C is A and C, and there is angle B okay so that's the inclusive angle okay now with that in mind let's see what are we going to use on this and which one can we go and calculate now quickly look here I need an opposite pair now you can see opposite pair means if I have this one this side length then I need that angle I don't have that I don't have that angle. Does that mean I'm going to use cos? Well, let's see, do we have three sides? No, we don't. Do we have two sides? No, actually, we only have one side. So the other angle must be found much easier than that, and it is actually, okay? This angle is simply 180 minus the other two side lengths, minus 76,2 and minus 55,6, and what answer do we get for that? Okay, let's try. We then get... 180 minus 76.2 minus 55.6 gives me an answer of 48.2 that is this angle 48,2 so we already have A is 48,2 now as soon as we have that we now have an opposite pair 48,2 there's our opposite pair which means from here on out we can use sine the sine rule for all of the others okay because we have now that sine of 48 comma 2 divided by its opposite side length 7 comma 2 8 will be equal to the same ratio between any two other opposite pairs so let's say we want to calculate side length B then we're going to use this relationship in other words sine of 76 comma 2 divided by now B is unknown okay so B is unknown okay how do we solve it well we're going to multiply both sides with a B to get B out of the denominator and we're also going to multiply both sides with 7 comma 2 8 times 7 comma 2 8 to get rid of the 7 comma 2 8 in the denominator so at this point we have that B sine 4 8 comma 2 is equal to sine 7 6 comma 2 
times 7 comma 2 8 and then we see okay to get B on his own we just now have to divide both sides with 48 comma 2 is equal to sine of 7 no, sorry no, I'm sh divide I'm messing up here okay divide this side also with sine of 48 comma 2 Okay, this side cancels, cancels, so I've got B on its own, and on the right-hand side now I've got an equation, well, expression. If I simplify that expression, I should get the side length of B. So let's calculate that. So we've got 76.2 sine of that. My calculator works like this. I have to press sine afterwards. Okay, times 7.28, 7.28 is equal to... Okay, now that gets divided by 48.2 sine of that. So that 48.2 sine of that, there you go, you can see it. And uh, that's the value for sine of 48.2. So if I click equal, I get 9.48, two decimal places. So rounded, I get 9,48 units. That is the value for B, 9,48. Now, last value, C. Can I use Pythagoras to go and calculate C? Well, no. <laughs> Pythagoras is only allowed in our um, 90 degree triangles, our right triangles. However, we can use the modified Pythagoras if we wanted to, okay? Because we have two angle, two sides, this side and that side, and their inclusive angle, this one, okay? So we could, you know, that's kind of modified Pythagoras to find this third side. But um, I think sine rule is just simpler because we have this original opposite pair. Okay, that opposite pair that we calculated way in the beginning. Okay, sorry, no, that was the opposite pair we calculated. And we also now have this opposite pair. Now we have that opposite pair. I would rather use my first one for in case I made a mistake along the way. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this first opposite pair for in case I made maybe a mistake with these two at least my mistake won't be carried on to the next one. So, well, hopefully not. So I've got sine of A, which we said was 48,2 divided by side length of A was 7.28 is equal to sine. Now I'm working with this opposite pair there so I'm working with this angle 55.6 and I'm trying to calculate C so here I've got 55 comma 6 and I'm trying to calculate C so again I can go through the motions to multiply both sides with a C and divide both uh, multiply both sides with this and then I'm just going to have to divide this away so so another way that I can maybe just do it simpler is to switch around my formula from the beginning so I can rather have said that C over sine C is divided by um, or is equal to A over sine A this would have been much easier to use this formula and I'm only showing it now so that there wasn't too much that we learned during the theory but saying it this way and saying sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. Obviously, if I just turn uh, or take the reciprocal on this side, I must just do the same on the other side. So if I swap around the left, do it the same on the right, and I still have the same business going on. Okay, so this would have been easier. Let me show you why. Because now we have C over sine of 55,6 is equal to A, which is 7,28 over sine of 48,2. Okay, and now to get C on its own, we only need to multiply with the sine. 55.6 on both sides. 55.6 multiplied on both sides. 55,6 multiplied on both sides. This side, it cancels so that I immediately have, that's, it's less simplification. So I immediately have my expression for C. 7.28 times 55.6 sine of that my sign there's my sign of that divided by 48.2 48.2 sign of that as well okay and there we go equals to 8.06 rounded approximately equal to 
6. And there I have found my two unknown side lengths as well as my one unknown angle very, very easily. Well, I thought it was easy. Hope you thought the same. See you in the next video. Well, let's do another uh, or a few of these, uh, a few more of these.